Fora TV. The world is thinking. The Cuban government has always used the Cuban people as, as hostages and as tools of negotiation. Uh, they are pragmatists. I agree with Sarah in the sense that they've always been pragmatists. Fidel was a pragmatist in the sense of, you know, he never really stuck to an ideology. He used ideology when he needed to control power, when he needed to increase repression, etc. Nonetheless, they've always, you know, maintained and kept the Cuban people in a hostage situation and have released prisoners for some type of concession from a European country, for some high-level visitor, and then they go and they rearrest. The one thing that we are seeing that is a little bit different, uh, and it involves the level of energy amongst the young people. The one thing you have to recall, though, is, you know, Fidel Castro handed over power, per se, to his brother Raul, although most people still believe that Fidel Castro is in control. Um, there's three titles in Cuba, head of the Council of State, head of the Council of Ministers, and head of the Cuban Communist Party. There's been a title change here. Raul is now head of the Council of State and head of the Council of Ministers, but Fidel is still head of the Communist Party, which is the most important position. So Fidel is, by all means, still in control. Raul's successor now, you know, so he went from an 81-year-old to a 76-year-old to Raul's successor now is Machado Ventura, who is 78 years old. And yet you have the majority of the island are young people that are pushing for change. So the one thing that you are seeing amongst the populace is that the repression, they cannot afford to martyr anyone. If they have a martyr, if they have a figure that they, I mean, and, they, and, and Fidel had them from before, but since Fidel's personality was more grandiose, it was, you know, he could always kind of hide them. Nonetheless, today, you have a hit-and-run repression. You have young people, they go out, they, they do a vigil, they do a sit-in, they beat them up, they put them in jail for a few days, they release them. Uh, in, 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 um, a couple of years ago, uh, you had lots of young people began this whole cambio movement, this whole change movement. They started wearing these white bands that said cambio. They arrested hundreds of them, beat them up a bit, and released them in a couple of days. What they're trying to do now is a battle of these older guys trying to tire out the younger people and scare them out of their activities.